In this video, we are going to look at a brand new Swift 2.0 control, which is called the Color Picker Control. Now, currently Swift 2.0 is in beta. You can actually see that I am using Xcode version 12.0 beta. So if you need to work with Color Picker, you need to download the Xcode 12 beta version. And also Color Picker does contain some bugs, but we can still show it and we can see it, but you will see that it doesn't really work as expected. So instead of the text, I'm going to go ahead and write color picker. This will allow you to obviously pick a color. We can go ahead and put some sort of a title over here. Let's say select a color. And the actual property that will be populated once you select the color is the selection property. And this is a binding property. So most probably you should put it inside a state. We're going to go ahead and create a state and I will simply call it color and initialize it to be white. I know that you don't really need that. That's fine. Now let's go ahead and put this bindable property self.color. You even don't need self. And let's go ahead and run this. And immediately you will see that once it compiles successfully, you will be able to see the color picker control. The control or the color in the middle is the one that we have assigned when we started. So I can go ahead and change it to purple and you'll be able to see that the color that we are picking is purple. Now let's go ahead and run this. And you'll see that it is way more advanced and enhanced as we see on the screen. So if I click on something over here, you can see that it actually launches a very complicated and rich color picker control. I can go ahead and pick a color from a grid. I can select the spectrum and select a color. I can even use sliders to adjust different colors. The problem with this color picker right now is that there's no way to close it. So I can't really get out of this mode. And now I think it's also stuck. So at least you can see that there is a color picker control which will be available in Swift 2.0, but it is currently a little bit buggy as you can see, so we can't really use it, but hopefully that those things will be fixed once Swift 2.0 is ready to launch. So in this video, you'll learn about the new color picker control in Swift UI 2.0. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my course, Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is a 16 plus hour course, and this course is all you need to master the Swift UI framework. We're going to start with building the list and navigation and going to dive into understanding the MVVM pattern, which is the preferred pattern when implementing Swift UI application. We're also going to look at integration with core data and also Swift recipes, which includes downloading images and building a custom rating view control. And I have also added a new section for Swift 2.0 new controls. So I will obviously be updating this section as new controls are uh, released and as new controls become more stable. Uh, you can see that we already have lazy vGrid, progress view, map control. All of these controls are available in Swift 2.0. The best way to get this course is check out the YouTube description and you will find a link to this course and many of my other courses. So definitely go ahead and use those links and uh, buy the course. Thank you so much and I really hope that you enjoy the video.